folks, this is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week, we go seven hours a day, we go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Surrender and let go of the past. This, I love this card. Whatever life takes away from you. Well, we don't like the things life takes away from us, but the bottom line, listen to it all. Let it go. When you surrender and let go of the past, you allow yourself to be fully alive in the moment. Letting go of the past means that you can enjoy the dream that is happening right here, right now. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 233, NASDAQ off 78, S&P's down 26. Gold, gold contract down $45, trading at, uh, that's another leg down, 2404. Silver down uh, 99 cents, 31 dollars, eight cents an ounce. Copper, look at this, down 28 cents, 400, yeah, four dollars 87 cents a pound. And that is a $7,500 move in the copper market, folks, and you're only putting up like 5,200. So there's, there's some damage out here today, that's for sure. Well, it's been going up dramatically anyway. Not anyway, but bottom line, yeah, we get a pullback. Oil, oil down at buck thirty-three, $77.34, notes and bonds. Ten-year note, down five ticks, trading 109.02. Thirty-year flat at 117.11 and King Dollar. King Dollar's the cul culprit out here. Well, you had the, the minutes, then King Dollar's trying to break into its larger range right now. And we're right at it, by the way. You're up 284 ticks, 104.945, Euro 108, Yen 156, British Palm 127 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877. 9276648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world. In the world of the SPs, let's take a look at. So let's do this. We're going to go into the futures first because we had action again. Okay, so let's take a look at it. We go into the SPs. Bring this back. Okay, so what we did, there it is right there. Okay, cool. So the s and is right now, that load is not a high volume low right here, okay? The last time that we had volume on the way down was the bar at uh, 2 o'clock. That's right when they came out. 52.13. So that was the number there. We're at 53.19. Now, the way that you look at this, okay, if you're day trading it, is that you do, one second here, let's go like this. We'll take the top to the bottom and first see where we're at. Okay, so we just, we're approaching the point three a 2 And what you're doing here, let's see. Okay, so we just did a 10-minute bar. Yeah, this has no strength, man. You just, we just did uh, 23,000 contracts versus 49,000 contracts versus uh, 70,000. That's, so with that saying said, we're still going to have weakness coming into the close. NQs. We look at the NQs. We'll do the same type of exercise. Pull this back. Same type of setup, too. Let's see what this is. So from the highs to the lows. Okay, it's not the... If you're going to sell it, wait for the .382. That's 18.743. It's only 10 points higher than we are right now. Bottom line is that the last time that we had volume on the way down was at uh, 18,703. And we hit 684. That being said, same type of setup. Because now what's going on is you're going against these bars that are monsters, man. So you're going to have, have to have someone come in with conviction in order to, uh, bottom line, get to higher price. So right now, this thing still does want lower price. And now let's go to the dollar because the dollar. The dollar didn't start this thing. It looks like the, the Fed minutes started it. They started selling off, okay? And what the Fed minutes were, they were, um, they were hawkish. There's no doubt about that. that, you know. That being said, if you heard what I said during the update there, you know, I think the probability of going up on rates is almost nil. Nothing's ever nil, okay? Look at this. That's the dollar. So if you're watching Tiger TV, you can see you're right at the line, man. You know, so we'll see what's going to bust into it again. Bust into it again, and you're finally going to get a correction. Gold. We take a look at the gold market. HGA. Oh, no, no. That's silver. GCA. There we go. All 
Okay, so you're down 43 bucks. Oh, I see we're rolling too. Okay, so I'm gonna go to the GLD. That's, that's, so we're rolling contracts in the gold market right now too. And the GLD is 6.2 million shares. You're coming into 9.2. Okay, it's not bad. This is a correction. Yeah, so you're coming into 9.2. And then we go to the 10 year. We take a look at the 10 year. What we have with the 10 year out here. Okay, so the 10 year right now down five ticks. You've done 1.8 million contracts. That's light contract volume for a pullback because we did on the way up. We're talking 2.8 and, well, 2.7, 2.8. That's what we're going into. So it's going to be hard to break this down. We got to 108.28. And, uh, hey, Al, this ain't no charts. Let me, let me see here, man. Okay, what, let's see. Tiger TV, where are you? How'd that work? Tiger TV. There's one, there's two, there's three, there's four, there's five. And let's hope that that was Bingo. And Bingo was his name. Now do you get him up? There we go. Bingo was his name. I like it. Okay, so now let's go to NVIDIA because bottom line is that NVIDIA is going to move the market. Let's take a look. I want to see the, uh, what they're also saying here on I forget whether NVIDIA comes out right afterwards. Well, it says after the market. I don't know if they're as quick as uh, Google is, uh, uh, but the bottom line is that, you know, we haven't hit the highs. You get 33 million shares traded. This is going to be wild watching this thing, man. Now, the, the problem with NVIDIA is that you get a high volume low at 756. 756. And we're at 940. So, you know, well, that's the last time that it came down, and the gap is not filled, so that could be a problem. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.